Whoopee, what a lovely sight. Yes, diorama of Nymphenburg. I've just come back from Munich where this wonderful vista appears. It's a diorama with about six depth planes to it and when you hold it directly and look it into it, you see a wonderful three-dimensional effect. We discovered just playing with it that if you squeeze it on the side slightly, you get an extra enhancement of the depth. And then if I roll it, the swans start swimming in the foreground. That's a lovely effect. A lovely card, this. Something I really do treasure, bit of paper engineering. And then it folds flat to send it to the post. What could be simpler? A diorama of Nymphenburg, where the kings of Bavaria used to live. So these are all interesting cards which I picked up there and the Deutsches Museum and a lot of other places. I'm particularly keen on the lenticular cards and these ones I think are beautiful. This is it's a postcard, you can write in it. But the effect, 3D effect, is very nice, very pronounced. And a nice cheerful picture of people dressed in Bavarian costumes enjoying their beer. And then a bit more sophisticated, there's one which I want to give to one of my fa family who is a musician. This lovely one of a piano with the music there <laughs> forming sort of sheets of music in the background, which is a very nice effect, and a nice big grand piano in the foreground. Good 3D effect for that. This is one I bought before, and it makes a nice birthday card for people, because it's saying happy birthday to you, and then you write on the dotted lines here the name of the person, which appears on the second verse. Happy birthday, dear everyone, and happy birthday to you. Lovely idea. It is just a postcard, but it's three-dimensional with the two verses, or the full Four lines of the Happy Birthday tune. And not a very unusual one, which is based on Meyer Bridges' work, are these little things. These are actually paper clips. And in fact, you could use this as a paper clip like that. It fits in very nicely. But they're all lenticulars, and they show the lovely galloping horse effect, which Meyer Bridge managed to film about 100, over 100 years ago. Very nicely done. And another one which I particularly liked was this one here of a, of a heart and lovers. And it's got a mixture of uh, lenticulation. It's also got a mixture of the ambiguous vase when they come together and they're kissing. Well, you get a, almost like a vase appearance in between the two faces in the background. That's a nice effect that I like. My favourite one of this series was this one here, which shows what happened on the Earth oh, about 300 million years ago, when all the continents came together or were in one single supercontinent, Pangaea, and then it split up into the continents that we now know. But that was over a period of you know more one or two hundred million years. It's a lovely way of demonstrating to children the movement of the Earth's crust, plate tectonics, showing the wonderful. It's, they call it a puzzle actually in the in the in the card itself, but it's showing Pangaea as a single supercontinent and then breaking up into the well-known map of the world now with all these five continents. Very nice stuff. Another thing I found there, which the Germans seem to excel with are three-dimensional postcards, but they're only just three-dimensional. The relief here is quite small. So if we just turn the light down, we'll pretend that this is the sun. This is the Tyrol, where I was staying for about four days. And as the sun comes over the top of the mountains and then starts setting down in the west, only then do you start to see the mountain relief there. You can see some nice shadows there as the sun's setting away into the west. An even better version, I think, was this one of Iceland, which I think is superb. So this is Iceland, a picture of Iceland. With, it's very hard to see the relief, but now if we're the sun starting up in the corner here, and all through the morning we've got the sun coming overhead, and then as it starts to set down at the bottom, suddenly you start to see the shadows appear, and you realise you're looking at a, a full relief. This is such a nice card that I'm thinking I'm going to be sending it to my friend Magnus Paulsen, who, who lives in Iceland. I think he'll be delighted with it. I certainly am.